Oh, folks, it seems like all hell's about to break loose. Uh, the people are so angry at the DN uh, DNC. They're just so angry. Um, you know, the, amazing. I mean, when they found out that Bernie Sanders was duped and uh, when he laid down on his sword, fell on his sword so quickly. I mean, you got to understand, folks, this 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 was planned. This was planned. Sanders had no intentions of running for president. I'm telling you that Sanders was working with Hillary all along. He was helping her get votes. Did you see the look on his face the night that he uh, conceded? Did you see it? I mean, the night that he... I mean, he looked like he had the victory. This did not look like a man that was, uh, you know... <laughs> he, looked, he looked like a person that was just in victory. His face looked like victory. I mean, this guy was... And the people are outraged because they don't understand that there's a conspiracy going on. They don't understand that there's no such thing as Democrats and Republicans. They don't understand that this is a total, complete conspiracy, that democracy is an illusion. They've been believing a lie and they've been sold a lie, a bill of goods. And the people are so angry right now. I mean, angry, 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 angry people. I'm telling you, I, I think the police are beginning to lose uh, authority. Because and when I say lose authority, I mean there's an anger and a a wrath within the people that they're not even going to back down to authority anymore. They're not going to, you know, I can see them just, it's not going to be long before they're going to be tipping cars, tipping police cars over with the police in them. I mean, they are so outraged. They are so angry. And, uh, you know, as, as things heat up and as people, as the swelling begins, and the foam, the foam begins to come out, and the and the and the swelling begins, and and this breach falls. I mean, as we see this happening, you know, like like a wave of the ocean coming in, like a tsunami, you know, and it's just building, it's building, and it's building. You and I, as the Lord's people. We need to get back. Step away. We we do not need to be a part of this. Do not be part of the problem. We are called to live peaceably with all men. This is Without question, it's going to be part of a test. I mean, what are we going to do? What are we going to do in the test? Are we going to become part of the rage and the anger and the wrath? This movement, which is definitely a movement, Black Lives Matter, this is a movement. Um, I think it's a bigger movement than Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton put together. They're trying to call Donald Trump a movement now. No. This rage and this anger, thats this it's a movement in itself. I mean, these people at one time, they were protesting, quote-unquote, peaceably. No more. No. They, they feel like they've lost um, their party, you know. They feel like they've lost their leaders. And now it's just a matter of going rogue. 
It's just a matter of just going ballistic. I mean, people are, are fed up. People are losing any sense of confidence or any sense of trust that they have in their leadership and their own, their own uh, leaders, their own party uh, turned on them. It's crazy. I mean, it's, it's mind-boggling. It is absolutely mind-boggling. You almost can't put words to it. You can't describe how <laughs> how crazy this is. No wonder the people are outraged. I mean, when you believe when they believed in the system, right? They believed in something. They believed in their system. They believed in quote unquote democracy. <laughs> they believed in that. They thought that they that there was some kind of a system where they were part of the voting, that they were part of the, you know, the electoral uh, system. They thought they were part of it, and they're finding out now. They're just, they're just pawns. And they're finding this out. And you know what happens when people don't have any hope anymore? The scripture says that hope deferred makes the heart sick. I mean, this is a people that don't have any hope. And they see you know, their lives just being taken away. They see their rights being taken away. They see... And they're already rebels. The Democrats, they're already, dem- they're already rebels against the Republic. So now you take away their leaders, you take away the, the structure of what they used to believe in. Oh my goodness. I mean, there is no restraint. You're not going to be able to restrain them now. I mean, how are you going to restrain them? How are the police going to restrain? They're not. This is this is it, people. I'm telling you, martial law is coming. All the hell's about to break loose. You are, there's no way that they're going to quell this. The only way that they're, the only way that they can restrain this and quell this right now is if the DNC was willing to admit what they did and have a re, uh, a revote or a re-election or as far as the, um, you know, the, what do you call it? forgot what they call it, but anyway, to to do this all over again, as far as Bernie Sanders and and let let the people vote again and let them feel like they're a part of the process, let them feel like they're part of the, you know, the voting process. I'm telling you, these people are so angry, irate, and I'm not laughing. I just, you just lose your sense of you, you just can't put words to it. <laughs> Lord God Almighty. How did we get here? I mean, we're going to be, well, I'm telling you, our country's in trouble. Our country's in trouble. You know, it makes you wonder. I mean, 
you got the Democrats doing, the, you know, the DNC doing what they're doing on their side. But then you got Donald Trump on his side saying law and order. Maybe that was the plan all along. That the DNC would bring the unrest, right? That would bring the chaos. And then Donald Trump would come in and bring the law and order. I don't know. I mean, just a thought. Because I know both sides are being used by the elite. They're using both sides. You know, the puppeteers, they're using both sides. It doesn't look good, people. It does not look good for this country. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise your name, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for your presence. Lord, we need your presence. We need you, Jesus. We need you more than ever, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise your name, Jesus. Praise your name, Jesus. I don't know what else to say at this point, people. It's It just doesn't look good. I guess the only thing left to say is look up. Just look up. Our redemption's drawing near. 